Well, greetings from the 2012 Spartan Invitational. We have a beautiful day. We've got a little greeting behind us here from one of our local teams. So our first race starts at noon. It'll be our collegiate women 6K, followed by our collegiate men. And then the excitement really starts. We'll have 12 high school races today and two middle school races. And the real prize race of the day is the elite race. The elite, ra <laughs> the elite race historically has had a uh, great prediction on who will win the state championship in Michigan. Last year we had uh, a three-way battle on the girls' side between Gross Point South, Celine, Grand Haven, and sure enough at the state meet they were the three teams at top, as, uh, top of the state meet as well. So great to see a competitive event out here. Thousands of participants, unofficially 6,000 registered runners today. This will make Spartan Invitational one of the largest high school cross-country events in the Midwest, if not um, the country.
the day is over and we have the winner and it's Sarah Kroll who doesn't look familiar in purple. Yes. Congratulations. Tell us about your race. Well, um, I think we went out fairly easy um, and I honestly didn't really feel like I was really running until we hit about 4K and Coach Trent always tells us to expect the last half of the race to be the hardest half, obviously, and so we really started running fast and my teammates were right there and it was it was a great feeling to win on your home course. I couldn't be more happy. Well, it's a good race to, to win early in the season, so you've, you've graduated now, right? No, actually I haven't. I'm if I redshirt, we're very undecided. Um, we just actually waited to see how the rest of the team fared, but I'm technically a junior, okay. so I actually have two more seasons of cross country left and three on the track, so I'm not nowhere am I near being done yet. Okay, but you, you're wearing purple instead of Michigan State green and white, so it made me wonder. Yeah. Um, it felt weird being in the green and not in the green and white. Um, every race, this is my seventh time running on this course. Um, I ran four years in high school and being in a uniform with no name on it, I felt a little lost. But with it being my home course and having so many people here behind Michigan State, you know, the Spartan Nation, it, it made me feel really good about myself. And, and I know regardless of what the uniform was, I came out here and I represented the Spartans well. You sure did and you looked anything but lost.